Hello, in the video coming up, I will show you how you can use your external storage to download Netflix movies. If you use Netflix, and let's face it, who doesn't? It's great, it's a great way to spend some time in the evening or on the weekends just to catch up with your favorite series or movies. There's so much you can do with Netflix. And the good thing is you can download on Netflix. So when it comes to Chromebooks, although Chromebooks are starting to increase in file, in, in storage size, that storage size isn't really being increased for things like downloads, it's more being increased for things like using Linux, and you do need a lot more storage when you're using Linux. Now, when it comes to Netflix, you can obviously stream programs, which is great, but what about if you like to watch programs on your laptop when you're in bed and perhaps the Wi-Fi connection isn't that good, or if you're going on holiday, if you're going on a plane, or you want, whilst you're away on holiday, you want to be able to watch movies, you want to stream that because the data cost would, be, would cost you a fortune. So the best thing to do is download it. Now to download it as by default, it downloads to your local storage. That's fine if you've got lots of storage, but if you don't have lots of storage space locally, then you'll want to install it on a USB stick like this. And the good news is you can do it. There's just a few steps you need to do to make that work. So I'm gonna show you now how to do that. So I'm using a USB type C, but you can do this with a USB type A as well. It's absolutely fine. Or you can do it with any really external hard disk. It shouldn't matter. You can use anything. So I'll just plug that in. Okay, so that's plugged in now. And then from here, you'll see open settings. And that's what you want to do. You want to open settings. But we won't do that for now because I'll show you how to get it if this doesn't come up for any reason. But what I'll do is I'll quickly show you Netflix at the moment. So if we open up Netflix. And then from here, just go to more down here. App settings, and I'll go back through this. So I'm just showing you quickly. At the moment, it's got internal storage. I've got a lot free because I'm using a Chromebook, which I bought for Linux as well, so there's a lot of storage. But you might not have that storage space available, but you do only have internal storage. So to get around that, even though I've just installed the USB stick, you can see it doesn't give you that option. And the reason for that is that you have to let Chrome OS know that you want Android apps to be able to use your USB stick. So to do that, as I says, when you plug it in, it had that option, you could have just clicked on that. But if you didn't, or it didn't come up for any reason, you just need to go to your settings down here, then go to settings here. And then from here, go to device. And then from there, go to storage management. And then you should have external storage preferences. Click on that and you'll see this here. I've named it that, you can name it whatever your USB stick. And it's got here, apps from Google Play may require full system access to read and write files on external storage devices. Files and folders created on the device are visible to anyone who uses the external drive. It's just warning you that anything stored on that drive can be visible by other people. So all you need to do is to simply click on that. And then once you've done that, just close that. And then if you open up Netflix now, and if we go back to settings, so it's on more here. Netflix may look different depending on the um, laptop you're using or how big your Chromebook screen is. So this is just a guide, but it's more. And then app settings there. And as you can see here, we've got download location. It's currently on internal storage. Click on download location. And now you'll see that my SD card showing. Just simply click on that and that's it. And as you can see, it's already got 457 megabytes on it. That's because I downloaded a movie just to make sure it all works and it does all work. So then you can watch Netflix movies without being connected to the internet, which is great. And I think it's great because it isn't just for people who are going on holiday. This is also for people if you're, if you're in a Wi-Fi spot which is not that great around your home, it's great for that. Or even if you're going to work, it's good to have some shows on Netflix downloaded. So it is really good. Now the good thing is as well, once you've done this, you don't need to do it again. So now it's done. Say for example, let's just close that. If I take out my, I'll just show you the settings. So it's device, 
storage management, external storage, you can see that's on. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out a USB stick, but you never take out a USB stick just by taking it out. You need to go to file manager first and you need to eject here. If you don't do that, you can corrupt the disk. So do always make sure you do that before taking it out or obviously turn off the Chromebook first and then take it out, that's absolutely fine. So I'll take that out, okay, and then I can take it out. And what I'm showing you now is that now we've done it once, you don't need to do it again. So that's the USB stick. We close that down, open that, put that back in. Like that. And then open settings. So this is the other way you can do it. Just go to open settings. You'll see that it's already on. So it actually remembers the USB stick, which is good. So you don't have to do it every time, which is great. And it's also the same with Netflix as well. If you've got your USB stick, if you don't have your USB stick in, in, inserted into your Chromebook and you try to download something on Netflix, it would just download it to your local storage. However, if you do put in your USB stick and you've gone through the settings like I've said, it will recognize that and then it will download it to your USB stick. So once you've done all this, you don't need to change anything again in the future. So it's really, really good. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.